Yeah, hi, this is a, a video on how to change the felt on uh, Defender sliding windows. You know the ones that rattle badly? Yeah, the one that drives you mad when you're driving down the road. Um, this, is a, this is actually off a Wolf, but uh, they're the same for the civilian ones, obviously. You're going to need two bits of felt like that, which the part number is MWC4757, or you can make your own. It's a lot cheaper doing that. Six, excuse me, six pop rivets. Placing the screws that go in here with stainless steel ones because they don't rust. You know what Land Rover's made out of? Aluminium, steel, and rust. Um, three millimeter drill bit to take these out. Put the, um, the catch in the down position. Those don't seem to have come out correctly. I'm going to have a fiddle about that and make sure we get it right. Yeah, that does come out nicely. So we've got to tilt it that way. As you can see that bit clips under. So you have to sort of bring it up and like that. There is a seal around here which invariably breaks. Lovely. Right, I'm going to change the drill bit and then have a go at the screws there. These are often screws here are often rusted in. They've been there for a while. Bit of that. Bit of that. This by the way, it comes from America, PB Blaster is so much better than WD-40. A lot. It's a lot more expensive, but it's a lot better. It's um Posi drive P2. I don't normally use electric impact driver. I normally use a screwdriver because it's got more control. But taking fate into my hands here, I'm gonna have a go. Nah, nah, I don't trust it. I'm gonna get a proper screwdriver and do it. The I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way. Okay, so I, um, <clears throat> I chickened out on using the power tool. I'm not brave enough, I didn't want to... I didn't want to round it off. The last one I did was really rusted in badly, but... Even that posi drive 2 doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel right. Phillips. Phillips fits better than the positive drive. It's not brilliant, even so. I think it might have been chewed up already, but I certainly don't want to heat it up. little trick is actually turning it back in 
can often help. And then screwing it out. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Yeah, so you can see how I was a bit reluctant to use an uh, power tool on that. That's bent. <laughs> That's actually bent. Somewhere safe, do I? Right, gonna get some pliers. Right, whilst I remember, I'm gonna hoover up all the bits of swarf. Um, if you're bothered about your paintwork, not that bothered. Right, it's got all the swarf and some of Salisbury playing out of it. And the little darlings you need to get hold of, it's just here. Come on. There we go. That's it. You see there's a tiny bit of glue. And I mean a tiny bit of glue there. That's what that's what I thought. Lollipop stick. Eva stick. Yeah. Replacement felt. Some of the kits you get tell you give you some goo gone or something like that that you're supposed to clean out the channel, but I have never found any glue worth moving out of that channel. 
this mainly stays in with a friction fit so the glue is almost unnecessary but just a little bit like that don't need a lot otherwise you never get the sucker out next time Cool, so you do that with both of them. Okay, so you need glue on one side. You don't need to put glue in there because that's porous. It says if it's porous, I need glue on one side. So for once I'm doing it, I'm told. Fold it, squidge it in evenly. Man on a charging horse isn't going to notice that. Cool. Right, I've just got to take off these. These here. Uh, the uh, pot roots that didn't drill out properly, and I'll uh, I'll be back. These two top ones, three millimeter drill bit, three millimeter drill bit, perfect. It's come out easy. These, the bottom, are going off centre. So you've got to be really careful. In fact, what I've inadvertently started to do is drill into the frame not the pot rivet that's something to watch out for a little tiny bit on that one so i'm gonna to have to so i managed to get those out <coughs> actually butchered those which is a shame so lesson learned for you guys It'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. Lesson learned for you guys: be careful with these bottom ones, because they kind of go in half blind into this channel. When you, yeah, be careful. Just be careful of that. Cool. Right. Right. I'm going to see if I can. You can see that. You can see how badly that's gone. Okay. Anyway, so there is a lesson learned for you guys. Okay, next bit. Easy on. Refit the window. Could really do the clean. Oh, I feel better. That feels so much better. Yeah, that's so much better already. Right, winner, winner. Okay, screw things. Right, screws go in there. Things screwed. Yeah, right. I'm actually thinking of making a kit with all these stainless steel rivets, felt, and everything like that. I know it's in Garrison. Garrison Outfitters do one. But it's horrendously expensive. I mean, it's eye wateringly expensive. Oh, hang on. Ah, right. Because these are Posi Drive, and that's the Philips. Right. Need. 
Okay. Yeah, for what it is, I'm wateringly expensive. Grease, absolutely busting stuff. This is copper grease. It's really worth using. Really worth using. I said these are stainless steel. You can get the the black metal ones if you want but I don't think it really matters because you hardly ever see them unless you want to be really authentic you've got all four in then you can tighten it and it doesn't have to be gorilla tight really doesn't there you go you'll know if it tights enough because your windows will slide if they haven't gone down enough your windows will catch on on the tops of the screws So I know that's good. Um, of course, now I've got copper grease everywhere, which I'll have to I'll have to wipe up later. Still worth it. Totally worth it. All right. Get the lock. Mm. It's a bit rusty. That spring is. And remember, right, there was a seal around there which disintegrated so don't have that anymore <laughs> there's even bits of crap in here look cheap one of these but it suffices so the the other camera ran out of battery never mind it doesn't matter you saw me putting the um, pot rivet in you yeah, know that is so much nicer <laughs> you can see a bit of paper we used to use to shove in there stop it rattling anyway Thing to remember is put copper grease on these because these go into a in the door these go into a tube in the door and they uh, can corrode one of one of mine I can't get off <clears throat> however copper grease on there on the threads on there and it'll be fine the thing to take away from this is careful when you're drilling out the bottom two there if you can get the seal get the seal before you start because it disintegrates like mine did that's obviously going to be a job for another time um, I can't remember if I said but I'm thinking of actually putting together a kit with all the correct size pot rivets because it's actually not that easy to get correct size pot rivets two strips uh, stainless steel screws and they will be a lot cheaper than the ones for Garrison outfitters. Anyway, that's basically it. Winner. Thanks for watching.